kind of move on. <laughs> I'm not doing this, but well, I am doing it really now. Literally, didn't have time to do my testimony because they're away. I just said to Joel, um, I'll do mine live. I just did some notes just now. <laughs> I'm just going to wing it. Uh, just to stay from the heart, really. Um, so, my name is Terry Ann. I'm 39, I've got four children. Um, my journey has started quite recently. Um, don't come from a religious background, um, but I'm learning every day, obviously, to, to follow and love Jesus. I've got really close to some um, friends who um, follow Jesus and, and the Lord's way. Um, so, growing up, I have done Bible studies and stuff growing up, but growing up, um, they were basically just me and my mum. Uh, my mum were amazing, she loved me so much, um, but unfortunately, my dad, he didn't want anything to do with me or my mum. Um, he made it very clear that you know he didn't want anything to do with me, rejected me um, as a daughter, which I think, obviously I understand now as an adult, um, that affected me very badly um, growing up. I had a lot of anger growing up, I would get into fights all the time, caused my mum so many problems. How she coped with me, I'll never know, but she did. Um, and we're as close as ever now, she'd be best friend in oh, I will, but I had so much anger and, and just, just hate growing up. Um, um, as I got older, um, I was drinking as you do when you're a teenager and stuff, you're just recreational drinking and stuff like that, which led to a lot of bad decisions. I'm not going to go, I have to keep this a little bit mild because my kids are here, so I'll just let you use your imagination about the bad decisions and some of the things that I'm going to say. Um, made a lot of bad decisions growing up, um, and in, when I, was, when I was 22, I got pregnant with twins, um, and my um, daughter, she uh, passed away at birth. And um, again, I had a lot of anger. I hated God. I had a little bit of belief growing up, but I hated him. I thought, why have you done this to me? So again, the anger from rejection, abandonment, and now the, the Lord took my door away. I, I, I literally had so much hate and anger. So even in my twenties, I was still had this anger, to, anger, and used to get into trouble. Again, drinking were a thing for me. If I felt a kind of way, I'd be, I'd drink basically. Um, which then led to other things and more bad decisions. So basically throughout my life I've been angry, made bad decisions, drank, um, and just just basically not, not been a bad person, but well yeah, probably some people might say that, but uh, <laughs> and then um when I was like 26, 27, I had more children, um and then I was a bit overweight, um, and I lost loads of weight, shared it on the internet, and loads of people wanted to help with weight loss. So I basically used to help loads of people uh, lose weight, and I felt like, wow, this is my purpose now. Like, I was loved by so many people online. I thought, this is, I'm healed, this is me. Like, I'm, like, people, like, I'm helping people. So I thought that that was me, I'm, I'm healed, I'm sorted, basically. Um, wasn't really drinking, then I went into, like, fitness and exercise and things. But with the high, it came low. I'd reached this peak, and like I was a businesswoman, I tried. I were in a two-bedroom flat to this massive house. I had an amazing marriage, four kids, like living the dream, basically. So I thought. Um, but I was never satisfied. I was never truly satisfied. I would say. And then, as sort of the the high started to decrease a little bit, I became low, lower, and lower, and lost all heart in my business. Um, I had anxiety, I had depression. Again, went back to my old friend, alcohol. So every time I felt a kind of way, I'd have a drink. Um, and with that came arguments in the relationship. Uh, that relationship, the marriage broke down. Then I was on my own. My life just basically spiraled out of control. My business were doing crap. I worked, so that's my brain. <laughs> The business were doing well, um, just everything was going wrong in my life basically. So again, the anger come back, I was angry, I was drinking, I was angry. Um, and I just reached the point uh, not long ago uh, where I can't really say too much about it, but I was at a low point and I'll let you think about what the thoughts were, what thoughts were going through my head. And at that point, um, I had a, a little bit of an encounter last year with going to church at Legacy, it just one for me really, and, but my friends go there and um, so I had a little bit of sort of Holy Spirit experience, but it was there. But anyway, when I felt this low, I thought, I, I just don't know what to do. So I, I did a little prayer at this point. Um, and my prayers, and they're still like this now, are just basically, I talked to, to the Lord like a mate. I just talked to him about how I'm feeling, and, and I just talked freely like that. 
Um, and I just did this prayer and just basically just had a switch and I thought, why are you even thinking this? Why are you going to do this? Um, and it, at that point, I went back to where I was staying and um, just basically brought down to myself, um, had a, fa a, a phone call with a, a good friend, Alan, who a lot of you know in the church. Um, but he's like, you just need to come to church. I've been trying to get you to come to church for years. I'm like, all right, then I'll call. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I feel like I had a turning point in my life there. So um, I started to go, I went to Renew, which was a stepping stone church. And I literally was so overcome by the Holy Spirit. I thought, this is where I'm meant to be. Like, I'm meant to be, I'm meant to be at this church. I'm meant to be around these people like Diane and Chabotan and everybody. Felt so welcome. Um, and Joel, and I was just like, wow, like, I'm meant to be here, like it feels good this. Um, so then I would go into Renew, come in here on a Sunday, I go to, we have a little fellowship group with some friends and Alan and we do Wednesday and I just felt so welcomed and like, it was just amazing. So as obviously the weeks went by, by I just felt like my strength and my belief were getting stronger and as that were getting stronger, when things were still going wrong in my life, I mean my life weren't perfect, it's still not now, but like when they were going wrong, I just prayed about it, or I spoke to my friends about it in a fellowship room, and we all prayed as a group. And I've just noticed, like, these last few, few like, weeks, few months, like, the anxieties, the depression. I'm also 64 days sober with no alcohol. Yeah. Um, I've, not been tempted, I've not even been tempted, but I know, with my strong faith now, if I feel tempted, I'm just gonna pray about it. And I've just got, I feel accountable, I feel accountable with, sort of the alcohol because the alcohol is where the bad decisions come from. And so I feel like alcohol's a no-go for me. I don't want it in my life. Um, but if I ever feel like, you know, I'm tempted, I will pray about it. I will obviously discuss with my, my, my friends, my community now that I've got here in this church and um, you know, I just promise so. Um, and yeah, I just I just feel like I've learned so much. I'm one of them who's be like, if anyone said that about like Jesus or like, yeah, whatever, or yeah, it changed so and so, like, you know, whatever. But to see like the transformation in your own life just from believing, just from reading the Bible, just from surrounding yourself with those type of people, like, I literally, like, I'm overwhelmed. It's like, it, it's phenomenal. Like, and it's easy as, an, as, as a non believer or somebody who never comes to church to think, oh, yeah, what are you on about? You know what I mean? Even though I've seen it in Alan. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I know people who have come to the Lord. You still, it's still hard until you actually try and you try and believe and you try and learn more about Jesus, learn more about the Lord, the Lord then you'll, you'll never, never, I don't think you'll never understand like, how amazing and brilliant it is. So for me, I just feel like I've turned a massive corner in my life. Like, everything in my life at the moment is i know life's not perfect but like everything in my life at the minute is just falling into place my business is flourishing i'm helping so many people like i used to i've got my confidence back in what i do and then i'm obviously the the, the love I, I don't know i just feel so much to feel part of something i feel part of a community i feel like i'm getting a purpose i've joined the food bank within the church so i really enjoy that i've got a group of people that i really enjoy spending time there helping people and you know, I led the prayer this week at the at the um, food bank, which were like an amazing thing. I just feel God's working so much in my life. I can't wait to learn more. I can't wait to love Him more. And I think today is about me, you know, forgetting about the past, giving myself uh, to Jesus, and just just basically being a child of God and like learning more. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. We, we joked, didn't we, in baptism yeah. and prayer? The more sins, the longer we hold you on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus has got it. <laughs> Terry Ann, we have heard of your repentance and faith, so we now baptise you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. No. 